The Emerald City is, without a doubt, soaring to unprecedented heights. Yet, this is not the Seattle you knew in the late 80s or early 90s when Sky King flew over a flattened industrial district called South Lake Union and when the viaduct seen in the distance was relatively healthy, considered adequate for city needs. Now, not so much. We are going into the worst traffic period ever in Seattle. Yes, we are about to enter the period of maximum constraint. MaxCon, or as the city wants to call it, affectionately known as Seattle Squeeze. Heather Marks is SDOT's director of downtown Seattle. mobility. Driving alone in their cars downtown is not going to be a winning strategy for anyone. She's been tasked with planning to mitigate a mess. We've never had a, a major highway closure this long, and we've never had a situation where the construction, the private development, and public infrastructure improvement projects have, have coalesced in this particular way. Yes, the viaduct will close and tunnel open, and then roads will close to allow for the expansion of the convention center as a new arena is built at Seattle Center and traffic is rerouted on the waterfront and getting to and from Coleman Dock. Large projects have a life of their own, and sometimes things don't line up exactly as you thought they were. Yet she says her department has done plenty to ease the squeeze, including working with the county on extending water taxi service and an app for an on-demand West Seattle shuttle to the dock. There is already an established geo fence built on 3rd Avenue to try and keep ride-sharing cars and their passengers off of it. Once you're out of that bubble, if you will, um, you can hail the ride around the corner. It's part of a strategy she fully admits is centered around transit without light rail. It's all about keeping the wheels on the bus going round and round after they're removed from the viaduct and shortly after others from the Metro bus tunnel. Every bus you see is carrying 40, 60, 80 people uh, and taking those individual cars off the road. So there are about 30,000 people who use transit uh, that come in on the viaduct. The city is also taking back major construction ingress and egress from projects like Rainier Square to keep those buses moving. You'll be getting space back. That's right. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. A bit of an irony, given how our region's prosperity will lead to a period with so much pain. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.